Magic mirror on the wall. Show me the fairest land of all. Hello everyone, I'm Barely Cedric and if you guys can't guess from, you know, the opening skit, I am doing Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, well, themed area. And uh, in this idea, I, I wanted to showcase, you know, just the f creepy forest that you guys can see in the movie Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. But before we, you know, go further on, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell, or comment any, you know, ideas if you just, you know, you can comment any ideas, basically, if you guys have any suggestions and stuff, especially for these, the Fabled Valley, ooh. So here, I wanted to recreate the cottage, like, you know, fro the dwarf cottage. I remember seeing, like, the scene where Snow White sees a cottage in the middle of, like, a grove. That's my main, um, inspiration. I don't know. This, the movie Snow White scares you as a kid. I know it scares a lot of people, but I, mean, I don't know. Does it, you know, scare you? It scared me a lot as a kid. Like, the scene of the forest still haunts me to this day or like when the witch gave not the witch i guess the evil queen give you know like i guess when she falls to her death that was scary like oh my goodness i can still see it in my nightmares basically i don't know the movie snow white is very much scary like what was it on purpose? I don't really know. I mean, it was Disney's first animated feature. So, you know, maybe they like it a little more scary. I don't know. Maybe the kids at the, that age prefer scary stuff. I, I mean, I won't judge. But, the you know, the movie itself is still not really a movie. Even, like, the real fairy tale itself is very much dark. Like, have you guys read the real Snow White tale? It's just, how do I put it? <laughs> it is really dark. And I really wanted to recreate the Disney version because I grew up watching the Disney version as much as it scares me. Um, so I really wanted to recreate the scene, not really the scene, more like the dwarf's house. I also, if you guys know, I made a lot of these like statues of Disney princesses and I, of course, need to showcase Snow White. I just edited something by just adding her a bow, which you guys are going to see. And, you know, making Snow White is just... Well, I did not watch the movie. I should have watched the movie before I made this. But I just, you know... I just used for memory of my inspiration, basically. So my inspiration itself, well, I mean... Is basically... Well, I mean, Snow White... I think everybody knows the story. Um, Snow White have like a lot of forest friends, and some of those forest friends are in the game, and that is specifically the deers and also the skunk. Yes, the striped skunk. Those, well, not those. These two animals are the ones that are going to be featured in the Black Forest, which is a real forest I learned in Germany, and it does look scary. It looks so much like Snow White. I try to make it as, you know, spooky vibe as much as I can. Uh, but I mostly try to, you know, make the house as accurate as possible in Planet Zoo with our limited... Well, I mean, it's unlimited, but there's a few limitations in the builds. But uh, it was very fun for me to be able to recreate. Uh, and, I mean, it's not really like a one-on-one -on -one scale that's obvious that's again obviously um uh, but it was still really fun to make you know to see like old disney arts and stuff i did find some concept arts i you know researched prior and again it still is like it's very nostalgic to me i like you know, Disney prin no, Disney princesses, yes, but I like Disney movies in general, so being able to build it in this game is fun. <laughs> um, and Snow White, with all the packs, you know, all the scenery pieces that we get from a pack, it's 
just a perfect, you know, basically it's not summary, more like the best choice, especially it's Disney's first animated feature. And I think it's one of the most known classics other than Cinderella, because I mean, Cinderella is number one. Like if you're asking what Disney princess is most known is probably going to be Cinderella. Like, I mean, if you're off the streets, num people will 100% know the story of Cinderella because it's been told like a bazillion times. Like when I say bazillion times, I mean it. Like there's a lot of retellings of the Cinderella story and each culture have their own like unique Cinderella story. And I love that. Like in, I I'm pretty sure I remember reading it somewhere. The actual origin of Cinderella actually origins from originated from China. I remember reading it somewhere. I don't know for sure though. And you know, here in Indonesia, we have our own Cinderella story, and then like each part of the world have their own unique Cinderella story, and I love that. But we're talking about Snow White here. It's about well, as a kid, I never I. I don't know, I always got the issue of one thing and that's the true love kiss part. Like, I like the story, but the idea of the prince kissing, you know, um, a corpse is a little off-putting, even until now. But overall, I still like the movie, okay? Like, it's still a classic, and there's me adding Snow White into the mix, and... I don't know, it's just, I don't, it just, when I was like building this, I just finally get to visit like, a ch well not visit, more like see a part of me basically in a way, like I get to call on my childhood, <laughs> you know, my, my very, what's that word? I, I'm like searching for a word here, like very, not child friendly, what? my childish self yeah childish self shelf self <sighs> but i you know i get to basically reimagine on how i wanted this to look like and you can actually see me opening and closing the search bar and steam and there's so m i need to have like a lot of inspiration there's a bunch of things that i can't seem to do specifically on the trees uh but the species itself is like i said before is the european fallow deer and also the striped sunk uh, sorry sunk skunk <laughs> you know why am i keep i'm i don't know my english is not going good right now <laughs> but uh the reason why i pick european fallow deer is because the guests can actually get into their habitat Oh, and also, you guys see like this rock wall. I actually saw it. It was Rudy Ragnall. Is that how you say it? Is that how you pronounce it? If I'm not wrong. Uh, he made this, you know, this rock wall and I was inspired to also do it. So, shout out to him, I guess. And, oh. When I was building this, I was thinking of what else can I add to this little, you know, zoo. Um... There's a bunch of stories I would like to do. I know that I'm going to add like some East Asian stories, maybe like Mulan, that would be pretty cool. Or maybe like Africa, but it means like Lion King. That will also be pretty cool. I know I'm gonna add Little Mermaid, that's 100%. Maybe I'll add Moana. I can add like Oceanian animals. What animals will represent Moana though? That's a pretty good question. And I would like to also like showcase other stories that are not Disney, like uh, the Nine-Tailed Fox from Japan, the legend. I believe it's called Kitsune, I believe. I, yeah, I believe so. And maybe I can use that with the Red Fox, just like find the piebald version or like the albino version, leucistic, I guess. And make like a little habitat inspired by J Japan, that would be pretty cool. Or, I don't know, maybe like a unicorn, but instead of a real actual unicorn, maybe like a golden zebra. That would be pretty cool as well, but golden zebras are so hard to find. Like sandbox, I really want, you know, to have the chance to basically determine our, my animal's gene, like in sandbox. Like I can make it leucistic, 
And I don't know if you guys are having the same glitch as me in, you know, in Sandbox. So if you guys open like Animal Trade and you guys adopt an animal, somehow it does not show it in the storage. It says that there's an animal, but you can't seem to retrieve it. It's like blank. And uh, there's, I don't know why, there's a lot of things basically glitching with Planet Zoo these past couple of days. Like, um, franchise mode is not working somehow. Like, that's weird. And Sandbox is having some glitches and stuff. And also, I, you know, I've heard that there's a lot of glitches these past couple of months or weeks, I guess. I hope they will fix it real soon because, you know, that will be amazing. I really want to play franchise mode again and just can't wait, basically. When they, you know, fix everything about Planet Zoo. There's, I don't know, there's like these new glitches. I have reported to the Steam, well not Steam, more towards to Frontier, but I have not really seen any like backup basically. But anyway, um, so the European fallow deer itself is, a, I think it's a, one of the common animal species you guys can see. And the reason why, like I said before, the guests can enter their habitat is so you get the snow white little moment you know like you're just walking and just waltzing through the forest and just singing to the birds we don't really have birds in Planet Zoo when are we gonna get birds that means like flying birds of course uh and then you guys can like well not you guys but guests can just walk through the deers and just l see them up close maybe pet them if you guys are lucky and I was very lucky uh, in this game to be able to get a leucistic one which you guys are going to see I let my you know when I'm you know building these things and I add the animals I will give like a few minutes for them to breed so I can get some baby animals and I got a leucistic one and that is amazing so right after I made the deer habitat I'm right now making the skunk habitat so the skunk habitat itself there's a lot of inspiration and I was surprised that planet zoo's requirements like size requirements is humongous like the skunks need such a big space the skunks in my zoo don't really have that big of a space like i mean it's still big but not as the required as planet zoo ask us to have and that's a little weird to me especially with some i mean i guess it's not really about the size is more towards how the animals react to different like size of enclosures but, like some animals will prefer having well, not prefer more like can still be suited in smaller habitats so here i really wanted to have like an indoor section like when you let's just say if it's like in the winter there is like an indoor section so you guys can see the animals and that's what i want to recreate here and there was a lot of trials and errors but you know when i was creating this this is my very first time making uh an indoor section but it means like a short a shorter version there was a lot of mix and match and i tried to make sure to you know see what looks right and what looks good basically and i am very happy to the way it turned out actually I was really proud of myself on how it turned out and I might be making, you know, I'll not might be in the future. I might make more of these like indoor habitats. I would love those. Um, and the skunks itself. Have I seen a skunk? I think I have. Have I? I have, I have, I have, I have seen a skunk. Don't worry. <laughs> um, skunks are not really a common species here in Indonesia. Because I don't, I don't really know why. Why are skunks not, you know, shown more often? I have not seen wolves. Like, wolf species, I have not seen. Even, like, wild dog species, I have not seen. Like, African wild dogs, I have... Oh, wait, I have seen the African wild dog. But, like, wolves, I have not. I have seen hyenas. Well, hyenas are in their own family group, I remember reading. Uh, but they are more towards cats than dogs. Uh, but either way, I have seen hyenas, but I've never really seen wolves. Wild dogs, I have not really seen any wild dogs, even though they're like native to Indonesia. 
Yeah, I have not seen. I have seen African wild dogs though, but like wolves and stuff, I have not seen them. Maybe the closest one is huskies, but huskies are not wolves though. Hmm. Interesting. But I I mean I have seen a lot of pictures. I have wolves are majestic and I saw like their actual size is like humongous. I thought they're like as big as a husky. I was wrong. They're like twice as big. I was surprised by the sheer size of a freaking wolf. <sighs> oh by the way, how am I going to implement wolves? you know into the fable valley zoo there's a lot of stories that cons not consist that have wolf at the basic the antagonist there's also a lot of stories of wolves becoming as hero characters so that would be pretty cool to see maybe like three little pigs Ooh, we do have like the new color peccary i might use that for the three little pigs maybe i'll add three, three little pigs but what about that you know what about the wolves should i like do little red riding hood or should i do just standard wolf like a wolf like hangout spot because there's a lot of stories consisting of wolves i don't know i don't really know why wolves are quote unquote demon de a demon did you say demon is that like demonized i don't know like i always seen wolves as like the villain is there a reason why is there like you know back in the day people are scared of wolves but there's like other animals that are way more scarier than wolves but anyway here are some cinematic shots of the build i made i hope you guys enjoy and well enjoy the cinematic shots Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank you guys again so much for clicking this video. And if you guys want more, there I have made a playlist for the Fable Valley for you guys. Uh, currently, there's two episodes. Maybe more in the future. Who knows what stories will unfold see you guys on the next chapter of the fabled valley have a nice day